I probably would be one of these angry people who talk about comedy uh, oh. on, online. <laughs> oh, hello. I'm Guy Branham, and this is Bar Talk at JFL. During the segments where I'm talking to comedians, I may not be drinking, but believe you me, I'll be drunk. Mark, we're going to play a game called Defend It. In this line box, we have controversial statements. You have to, like, briefly, in one sentence, defend this. Right. Explain to me why it is true. Okay. Are you prepared to play Mark Watson? Yes, but I can see this being the sort of thing that is cut down and makes you look very bad. Yes. Okay. Tinder is the best way to meet your soulmates. <laughs> yeah. Um, because there's much too much emphasis on getting to know someone, seeing what they look like, uh, understanding them as a person. By far the best way, we should all accept that uh, sex is just a transaction, so is romance. Take the, uh, take the love out of it and just, the more things we just uh, outsource to apps, the happier we'll be, basically. I'm gay, so what you're saying is not a hilarious joke to me, it's just <laughs> true. I, I forgot um, about the, the, the backdrop <laughs> of the conversation. Yeah. yeah, I mean, the thing is, is like, I don't want to, finding your soulmate because you guys ran into each other in a supermarket, I'm not leaving this to fate. I want, yeah. like, I want big tech behind it. So is that what Tinder, is that? Tinder appeals to people who want a, want a plan, basically. Uh, I mean, I don't know about Tinder. I'm gay, but ours just like grinder. Just grinder. And, yeah, yeah. Or or scruff. Just sort of like show you which people nearest to you want to fuck. It's true. And I, then you fuck. I've got a gay friend, and he is absolutely ruthless with it. Yeah, yes. he's just going through them, going, yeah, don't think so. Yeah. Yes. Ruthless is a really great way of describing male homosexuality. People <laughs> should try harder to speak in rhymes. Uh, rhyming is a very nice way to talk. Can you? Oh, I was going to rhyme it with walk uh, and then carry on like that, but it, uh, would, it would have been. At that great, statement, yeah. I will not balk. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, that, that was the one. That was balk was what I needed there. Um, pajamas should be worn all the time because they're just more comfortable. We make a lot of effort to put clothes on and stuff. That's not a hard one to defend. I no. mean, belts are constricting. Yeah, all you've got to do is be an alcoholic and stuff, and then you, you, pajamas becomes a natural choice. I've been in that situation. Sasquatch is real and living in Montreal. Ah, uh, Sasquatch is like well, big, Bigfoot. Yes. Or, yeah. Um, I mean, everyone else is here. So. <laughs> I mean, all of the biggest names in comedy, it amaze me including if mythological here. figures. All right, last one. Canada will be the best place to survive during a zombie apocalypse. Yeah, I think that's, uh, I mean, you did some stuff yesterday about how uh, Americans don't give Canada a hard time because you basically don't care what they get up yes. to. So, so maybe Canada would be a good place uh, just because you would go under the radar for a while. You the zombies what, yeah. might not notice. The, the zombies might, it might not be on their GPS, yeah. I think zombie apocalypse, maybe. But I think if you go into a Mad Max, there's no water situation, this is a great place to be. Loads of natural resources, yeah. Yes, I also think during like a... Uh, Kevin, um, uh, what's his name? Waterworld. Kevin, oh, Kevin Costner. Costner yeah. Waterworld situation. It's really great because if the sea levels rise, you've got the Rockies. You can just go you to up the islands ages. that the Rockies will become. So actually, in the event of, a, of an apocalypse, Canada is where we'll all, all yes. be. Yeah. What do you think things will be like in Britain after the apocalypse? Because much Boris like, Johnson like is your this, prime yeah. minister now. <laughs> It'll be better. <laughs> Mark Watson, there has been an outcry from the population here in the bar at the Doubletree Hotel by Hilton in Montreal demanding that you play another game. It's deafening. Like Are it's, you willing to play that game? I don't want to turn these people against me. It's like a mob. Yeah. I know. They're all chanting my name and everything. So yeah. we're going to play. Watson. 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 Like it's nice, but it's a bit much. You it's, know? A it's a lot. lot. Yeah. Um, we're going to play a game called Weird Words. I'm going to show you weird words. And by weird, we mean mostly French and sometimes Yiddish. And then you have to tell us what they actually mean or what you speculate that they mean. Are you ready to play that, Mark Watson? Yes, I am. All right. L'esprit de escalier. My French pronunciation is dazzlingly good. Francois, our uh, director, is thrilled by it. His joie radiates out as I say l'esprit de escalier. We're absolutely swimming in joie. We're yeah. swimming yeah. in joie. All um, right, what does it mean? Does it spoil it if I do know? Yeah, you know, so. just say it. Let's talk okay, about it. Fine. Uh, it's, it refers to when you think of something really funny, but it's too late because escalier means staircase. So it means like you're on the stairs on the way out of the building and then you think, ah. But don't you think it's the worst thing for stand up comedians? Because when you have a heckler or you have like a riff moment, when you figure out the right joke immediately afterwards, it's yeah. the worst. Especially with hecklers. You're at 3 a.m., you wake up in a cold sweat and you think, Oh, I've got a great bit of this. I'm going to have to call the guy up and say, I've, I've just worked out what I should have I said. I could have yeah. shown that Midwestern mom who's boss. Yeah, now I'll have to find her again. <laughs> All right. Ser Serene? Serene? 
don't know. It sounds a bit like um, sarin, that poison that they used on yes. the ground. So I'll go with that. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think it is a brain hormone that makes you feel regret. The real answer is the fine light rain that falls from a clear sky at sunset or in the early hours of night. There you go. You can see why they needed words for that because that's some, not very pithy, is it? No, yeah. but some might call it nature's pre-cum, you know? They might do, I suppose. <laughs> but that's not caught on in the same way. <laughs> nature's pre-cum is lovely, yeah. All right, numinous. Oh, numinous. Does it mean, like, um, ugh, mysterious, the same sort of thing as nebulous? I don't think it does, oh. but it sounds like that kind of word. I don't know what it means, but Mark, I would like to say you look simply numinous today. Thank you. Thank you. Always. Numinous means personal feelings of being overwhelmed and inspired. Oh, right, so like when you see uh, something, oh, the, yes. the beauty of nature or something yes. like that. So yeah. you do actually, I would say, here, surrounded by all the genius of JFL, you do look numinous, Mark. I, thank you, and I feel numinous. Thanks. And so do you. All right, the final one, convivencia. What is convivencia, Mark? Well, it would be nice if it meant, you know, uh, something to do with the community, like the word convivial. It seems like it comes from the same stem. So something to do with togetherness, maybe. Okay. The answer is living together. Yeah. Oh, oh, do we have a prize from Mark? Do we have some sort of exciting gift if we can give him? If there's not a prize, him? I will walk. Do we have uh, a, a, a liter of Siroc yes. d'Arable? Never oh. mind all that money. <laughs> Cold hard gotta, cash. Is, is that a loony or a toony? It's a two, yeah. Oh, it's that's impressive. That's two dollars Canadian, worth half a pound maybe. I, yeah, maybe. Actually, no. The pound is super weak. The pound is plummeting so fast. This is now. Yes. This will make me rich. <laughs> yeah. Uh, living together in the sense of living or working closely with other people with whom you share feelings. Very nice. Yeah. That Mark, was fun. You, you fill me with convivencia. I'm I. I've enjoyed it and I'm happy to have come away with a profit. I'm sorry that I've touched your shoulder so much. I feel like the moistness of my hand has rumpled your nice black t shirt. I didn't notice it being particularly moist. I okay. feel like it was all right. Yeah, I would okay. have said, well, I wouldn't, I'm British, so I wouldn't have said anything, but it is fine. Yeah. Um, well, like, the shoutiest British person is now in charge of Britain. Um, it's are you true, the, the stereotype of the Brit will change because yes. uh, we now have a like, mad, opinionated right wing guy. At the, yes, the so hand. drunk yeah. belligerence is the order of the day. Yeah. Watch out, Australia. <laughs> That's it. That's Bar Talk at JFL. It's over now. You can return to the other parts of the internet. Go watch porn, go argue about politics, buy some cryptocurrency, whatever you want to do. Howie Mandel here saying thanks for watching and please click on subscribe, share, enjoy. Do it now. I'm waiting.